Whew. So say, I hope I still have some gas left in here. Whew. It's cold out tonight. Mm. I need this fire. Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Jobu Sports Report. And maybe I should also call it the Life Channel as well. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, just got finished live streaming, and I am ecstatic and sad at the same time. Because, you know, butthurt Eagle fans, they're just saying, well, you know, you're, you're leading the division right now, but it ain't going to last because... All we got to do is win out. And we just got the Giants left, you know, twice. Well, I have to tell you that Tommy DeVito has won every game that he started except against the Cowboys. And they are finding ways to win that are freaking insane. Because Saquon fumbled the ball, running down the field, Got hit, kind of, you know, legs caught up and kind of stumbled for about another six or seven yards and fell down untouched and fumbled the football. And it seemed like the Green Bay Packers, which were in a playoff position, were going to win. They go down, they score, and there's only like a minute and a half left. And damn if Tommy DeVito, who has eight TDs and two interceptions versus what Daniel Jones, who got $40 million, was two TD passes and six interceptions. Tommy DeVito is crazy. It, he, they came back and they won. And here's the thing. This is now the second game where they have won when they shouldn't have. And the only thing that I can explain is it's our buddy Rashid up here that's willing them to win. So, Eagle fans, if you think that the Giants are going to be a pushover, they're not. They're not. Because here's what we learned tonight. The Miami Dolphins, first of all, if Tariq Hill is not playing, they ain't the same team. The Miami Dolphins were gift-wrapped two touchdowns because the Titans bobbled kicks twice in the red zone, making two easy touchdowns for them. It was 13-13, and here it is. They give them the ball on the seven-yard line. Tua and crew did not look good. They took a two-touchdown lead. And here it is, the Titans, the Tennessee Titans, with the rookie quarterback, Will Levis, go down the field and score. They stop Tua and that vaulted offense, get the ball back, and go down and score a second touchdown to win the game. Two teams with nothing to play for against two teams, one of which was currently in the playoff pitcher with the Green Bay Packers, losing to the New York Giants that have now won three games straight and are getting hot. The Miami Dolphins, I have to say, I ain't quite as scared of the Miami Dolphins and the Detroit Lions after watching this past week. Just not. Miami, here's what's kind of funny about Miami. What they were saying about the Cowboys, that the Cowboys have not beat a winning team. The only team that you can look at right now that the Miami Dolphins beat that is a winning team that may make the playoffs will be the Denver Broncos that they mollywopped 70-20. to 20. But when they did, the Miami Dolphins hadn't had a game won. They were still trying to figure shit out. They were the joke of the NFL. But they turned it around and started listening to Sean Payton and started putting together some wins. That's the biggest win that they have all season. They have now lost to the Tennessee Titans. They got beat by uh, the Buffalo Bills. Um, yeah, they, they, they've had some bad losses. Um, they lost to the Eagles. So the thing about football, and I've got now 
Eagle fans, you know, that, that probably saw that game tonight with the Giants, and now that they're scared, they're worried. They're worried and saying, oh, my God, the Giants are playing pretty good football right now. Their defense is playing pretty stout. This is a totally different team with Tommy DeVito, and Tommy is limited. Tommy is ready to go home to his mama and get his chicken cutlets. But that team is motivated, and they are rallying behind Tommy DeVito. Maybe they didn't like Daniel Jones. I don't know. But that's a different team with Tommy DeVito than it is with Daniel Jones. Eagles, it ain't no easy road because you got to go all the way to the Pacific Coast, Northwest, to face the Seattle team that hopefully will have Geno there which won't be an easy out either. That won't be an easy out if Geno Smith is playing because playing in Seattle is a tough place to play. Pete Carroll ain't no bum coach either. So for Eagles that think that you're going to end up being 13 and, uh, excuse me, 14 and three, I'm not sure that's going to be the case. Winning out ain't going to be that easy. I am, um, I'm excited. I feel really, really good about where my team is right now. Now that I've had a day to kind of step back, I think I'm getting ready to run out of fuel here because I can tell when, when it starts, it, when propane gets low, it has a certain smell to it. Um, and that's where I'm kind of getting that. So I'm hoping that I can get through this video because I need this heat because it is cold out here today. But having stepped back today and had a chance for the win to kind of settle in because we don't have time to celebrate because we have to get ready for the Buffalo Bills. Buffalo Bills, they got an emotional win and are playing for their playoff lives against Kansas City because Buffalo realizes that right now Miami's lost. We beat Kansas City. Denver has been playing pretty well, but there's no dominant team in the AFC right now. They can get back into the picture and possibly go on. There is not, you don't look, who do you look at in the AFC right now and say, they're the odds on favor to make it. Now, probably Kansas City will bounce back because they've got the best coach and things, but you can't say that that's a guarantee at all. At all. So Buffalo has a lot to play for, but Sometimes you get lucky. I'm watching the weather like a crazy man. Right at the moment, it was 48 degrees they had forecasted yesterday. Today, this evening, they said 47 and, and 38 for Sunday. The nicest weather of the week right now, long range. That can change in a hurry. I didn't know we were getting snow last night, and we did. And things change in a hurry with the weather. But at the moment, it looks like it's going to be decent weather for the game and that will help the Dallas Cowboys out tremendously that we're not dealing with Buffalo weather and sometimes you get lucky in situations like that when you are trying to go the Eagles the road gets huff I, I you know they've been laughing and saying that, that the Eagles have the easiest schedule I don't know that it's that easy because you're playing a desperate Seattle team and you are playing now a giant team that's getting some momentum and some confidence and believing in themselves and would love to do nothing more than to hurt the Philadelphia Eagles. So, bro, it ain't going to be easy, to say the least. I'm trying to try these out. They've gotten wet out here in the rain. But... Tomorrow, tomorrow, I don't know if you believe in an afterlife or not, but I swear it was crazy because Watching the games tonight, Giants are having a hard time. And I played the clip of Rashid saying if the Eagles lose, 
I'm going to have a good week. And all of a sudden, there's a big play that goes down and the Giants get a touchdown. The Giants coming back, a team that was offensively challenged, the Giants coming back and going down with little time in the game to get the game-winning field goal is improbable. The Giants with, I can't remember who they played last week, with the team, all they had to do was a chip shot field goal, but see this kick go up and all of a sudden just go off to the right. It can't just be happenstance. I believe it's Rashid. My, my batteries are almost out, so I need to finish this. Tomorrow is Rashid's memorial service. I've got to do the eulogy for him and say goodbye. I want you all to remember, life is short and life is precious. And tell the people you love, you love them. Because you might not get the chance. And I don't want to lose this. I love you guys. Peace.